Hi! Today I have a super quick guide for you on how to improve your strategy. You often leave in comments your own strategies and I decided to take one of them for a test. I will backtest 100 trades, then improve it and then re-backtest it and we will compare the results. I tried to put as much information as possible into this short video and if we get 200 likes on this video I will continue to upgrade your strategies. To do this you simply need to need leave a comment in the comment section down below about your strategy and also tell us about your current win rate. So stay with me and let's get started. All right, for today's strategy, we actually need only two indicators. It's Kelder channel, so the settings of EMA and ATR we're not touching. Multiplier, our subscriber chose two, so the channel is quite thicker. And the second indicator that we need is RSI. And RSI we're using not as the indicator for oversold and overbought areas, but as the trend power direction, so we don't need oversold and overbought areas, we are interested in the middle central line and we're choosing the level 50. Logic of this strategy is actually quite simple, but before we talk about that, let's change the background for a Kelter channel for blue because it's like easier on the eyes. So the logic is quite simple. We're waiting for the price to go outside of Kelter channels region and after which we have the reversal quick reversal of the price in this case up right and we also looking for uh, this change to happen not more than five candlesticks in this case two candlesticks so we see that the second candlestick uh, breaks through the middle of Kelter channels and then we look at RSI and if we see that it's higher than the level of 50 that means we can enter into a deal so that level was 50 and the next one is of course higher around 55 so we would enter a deal for an uptrend and the deal would be closed in black for the downtrend the strategy works completely the same so for example here we see uh, the price went through the upper region uh, of the Kelter channel and after it came back to it after five candlesticks and candlestick number five is already there and we see that RSI is a little above the middle so we can enter into a deal for the downtrend and it would be closed in black. Let's try to find one deal right now so you can see it and uh, we will see this strategy in real time. Finally, so guys, we found our potential trading entry point and right now we are opening a deal for $100 for the downtrend. So why we do this? We see that there was a touch on the upper line and the candle number five is breaking through the central level of Kendra channel and RSI is in a good zone. So with that strategy of our subscriber, this is the sign for us to enter a deal for a downtrend. So let's see what's going to happen. Casey, so even though we enter a deal a little bit later than we should have, it's still closed in black and our subscriber did an amazing job. But it's too early to draw conclusions about the strategy. I understand the logic of this one, so let's go to the backtesting platform and see what happens and then we will try to improve it and compare the results. How are we going to do this? Let's see. So, first of all, I have this little table that I got for us and we have everything for 100 deals and we're going to put only results either positive in this case it's going to be 80 dollars or negative it's going to be minus 100 dollars why i take 80 percent payout well i explained that to you many times 80 is the perfect uh, payout because some of them are going to be 75 some of them are going to be 90 and the middle of those is going to be 80%, 80, 85. So in this case, it's going to be 80. And let's look at our first two deals that we found on the back testing. Oh, both of them are closed in 
plus and what I'm going to do now uh, right now I am going to look at all of the entry points and put them in the table so we can analyze the result Alright, so here are the results for all 100 deals on backtesting. Now let's look at the results closer. So we started with 5,000 and now it's 5,260 and ROI is 5.2, which I expected worse results here with this strategy and positive ROI is actually a really good thing. So this strategy from the get go shows us some profit. In this case, we have 57% of win rate. Now what we're going to do is make this strategy better and we will see if we can make the win rate higher. Based on the backtesting results, I found two main reasons why transactions were closed in the negative. Firstly, it has to do with trending against the global trend. By opening deals for an uptrend during the downtrend, we will always lose more often than we will win. Secondly, many deals were closed in negative when the price went beyond the average level of Kelter's channel. But then there was not enough momentum in the market and the reversal was made. To resolve both of those issues, I added two additional indicators for our chart. And one of them, of course, you know it, it's EMA. 200. It will help us to work with the trend, not against the trend. The rule is easy. Exponential moving average is the yellow line on the screen. It shows us the global direction of the trend. If the price is lower, we open only deals for the downtrend. And if the price is higher than EMA, then we open only deals for an uptrend. And to resolve the issue with momentum, I added additional indicator and indicator is called momentum. So let's look at the example how all of this is going to work. So in this case, we see that the price is lower than exponential moving average 200. So we're looking only for a downtrend. So Kettler channel gives us another uh, confirmation point. So on candlestick number five, it went through the middle line and then we look to our indicators. So we look at RSI. Uh, and it shows us the signal on the candlestick number five again. And momentum actually doesn't give us signal. It gives us signal only on the next candlestick. So right there, we are opening the deal for the downtrend. And of course, you can see it would be closed in black. So that gives us four elements of confirmation. And I think with this kind of settings, this strategy will show us higher win rate. All right. So let's get back to our chart and let's do back testing with our new strategy here. So we have the same table, but the results are empty. We're going to put them the new results and we're going to remove all the previous entry points. And let's do it all over again with 100 deals. <laughs> It was a long time, but before we analyze the results, I wanted to remind you that to get an analysis of your strategy, you need to leave it in the comments. But if you don't want to wait, you can join my trading academy, which is available absolutely for free. You will get access to all of my video tutorials as well as support from me and the supervisor. All you have to do is simply contact me via Telegram using the link that's going to be in the description of this video. Do not miss this unique opportunity. All right. So we have all of our 100 deals with my new strategy. Uh, and let's look at the results. So we started with $5,000 and the final balance is $5,980, which is profit of $980. And ROI is actually grew uh, to 19 and 6% and fin rate now is 61% against 57% from the beginning of the strategy. 
generally our profit grew almost four times just by adding two additional indicators. And that is why I think it's extremely important to study different indicator and price action techniques. Since understanding the basics, you will be able to apply knowledge to absolutely any strategy and increase your win rate. Of course, 61% that we received today in the testing is not very much, but even this is enough to be a profitable trader. By the way, I used similar techniques when I created a bot via ChatGPT for binary option trading. If you haven't watched that fantastic experiment yet, Click right there and that's gonna be it for us for today thank you so so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye bye, bye, -bye.